Lookup tables, in a general sense, provide software with the ability to index an array to retrieve a value instead of having to calculate it. Now, if we think about it, indexing an array is well, definitely going to be less computationally expensive than even some basic numerical calculations, therefore offering some performance boosts. In image processing, a color lookup table, which is usually abbreviated LUT and called a LUT by professionals, uh, this is a file which allows your image processing software to quickly transform source pixel values to arbitrary output values. They're commonly used to map one color space to another or to quickly color grade an image or piece of footage. There are two types of LUTs commonly used in image processing. The first, a one-dimensional LUT or 1D LUT, offers the ability to take the value of a pixel in either the red, green, or blue channel and convert it to some other value. 1D LUTs can be used for simple brightness-based adjustments as well as changing contrast values in the image. Note that these are direct mappings between input red, green, or blue values to new values, so the effects are channel specific. The effect is roughly the same as making a curves adjustment to each color channel. Using this method, an entire RGB triplet cannot be mapped to another full RGB triplet. The other type is called a 3D LUT, named for its ability to take in RGB triplets and output different entire RGB triplets. This offers more control over colors than is provided for the use of a 1D LUT. The best way to understand a 3D LUT is to imagine a 3D coordinate system with red, green, and blue axes. Now, assuming 8 bits per channel color, we won't be creating data points for each of the 16 million possible colors, but rather we'll just subdivide the coordinate space to a certain resolution. So let's consider this LUT with a resolution of 17, and we'll see here that we're going to be storing 17 to the 3 colors, right? Because this is a 3D coordinate system, so we can store uh, 4,913 discrete data points. Each RGB triplet stored in the file corresponds to one of these colors. Now, when we apply the LUT in Photoshop, the arbitrary colors found in the image are just located inside this 3D coordinate space, and the RGB triplet stored by the LUT is the output. Now, again, it's important to realize here that we're storing significantly fewer colors than are actually present in the 8 bits per channel color gamut. Therefore, when arbitrary colors are looked up, well, we don't have a direct mapping, so the software just interpolates between the data points before and after the specific color that we're trying to look up and uses that information to determine the missing in-between colors. 